Hi, this is Rebecca Coleman for The Art of the Business, and today I'm going to show you how to generate a week's worth of tweets in just a few minutes using this tool called Agora Pulse. So Agora Pulse is a social media dashboard. Basically what it means is that you can manage multiple accounts inside this one platform. You can see, um, for example, who has uh, tried to connect with you and respond to them. So you can do listening through this. So you can see these are my tweets and I can see these are people that have tweeted me. I can actually respond to them through this platform. Um, and the other thing that you can do is you can actually generate content and schedule it out uh, uh, quite a bit in advance. And it just really is a great tool that saves me a ton of time. So I'm going to show you how to generate this content. So what I'm going to do is I'm starting by choosing the platform that I want to generate my content on. In this case, I'm doing it for Twitter. Um, I have already, uh, in advance of this, I have already uh, set up a schedule for this. So the scheduling, um, I've scheduled it so that I have three tweets a day going out on this particular platform. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my publishing calendar. And up here in the upper right hand corner, there's a little, um, uh, <laughs> it looks like a little paper airplane there. You're just going to pull that down and you can either publish a single post or you can do bulk publishing. I'm going to do bulk publishing and it has a bunch of options in here. As you can see, you can import a bunch of images and turn them into posts. You can import from a CSV file. This is something that I also do on a fairly regular basis. Um, although that is not the little trick that I'm going to show you today. Today I'm going to show you this one, which is import from a website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on import from RSS. Now, what an RSS feed is, is it's every time a blog publishes a post, it goes out on its RSS feed. And you can subscribe to that RSS feed. And then you have a subscription to that blog. And every time they publish a new post, you get it usually in your inbox. So in order for you to find an RSS feed, um, what you need to do is go to any given blog. So let's go, for example, to the social media examiner. So here's the social media examiner. And what you do is um, most of the time the, the feed is just, the RSS feed is the URL of the blog slash feed. This is normally what it is. And what you'll see is it looks like this weird code thing and you're like, I don't know what that is, but that's okay. You don't need to know what it is. All you need to do is to know this URL. And then what you want to do is just copy it and then paste it somewhere where you have it, uh, access to it at all times. So I keep mine in a little note down here on my, um, in my notes, I keep it in here. And what you'll see is I have all these RSS feeds that are just ready to go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these RSS feeds. So this is, um, I'm doing this not for me right now. I'm doing this for one of my clients. So I'm just going to copy that RSS feed, come back into my Agora Pulse. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste that RSS feed right into this box and then hit submit. And then what it does is it goes and fetches all of the most recent blog posts that this blog has published. So this is a way of doing what we call curated content. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to scroll through and I'm going to look at some of these um, articles and I'm going to pull some of them uh, that I think are good. Uh, so I'm going to pull a bunch of these ones that I think, okay, these will be good for my client. This will be uh, an interesting, interesting articles that people who subscribe to this particular feed will be interested in reading. Okay, so there we go. I've pulled five of those. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the next button. And then um, all I have to do is I just have to say Q. And what it's going to do is it's going to put all of these into my feed. Um, and of course you can edit each one of them individually if you want to, but in this particular case, I'm just curating content. So I don't really need to edit them too much. You may want to go in and add some hashtags and I'm not going to do a ton of editing with these. Um, just make sure that you're sending them out on the correct, um, Twitter feed. <laughs> you don't want to make that mistake. Then I just hit Q 
And now what's happening is it is, you'll notice it has queued them up and now they are in my schedule. Okay. I'm just going to show you that one more time. Go back to my notes. I'm going to grab the RSS URL. Then I'm going to come back in here, click on this little thing that looks like a paper airplane, bulk publishing, import from RSS. Now I'm going to paste that in there, hit submit. And now uh, I am going to just grab some of these uh, interesting articles. And then again, I'm going to hit next and then cue that. And now you'll see I have built all of this content and it took really just like about 30 seconds to do that. There's one last thing that I want to do before I finish and that is that I actually want to shuffle these because what's happened is what is happening now is it's queued each of these and each of these are all from the same content and I don't want that. What I want is I want for everything to be uh, mixed up in terms of when it comes out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on um, just below the publishing calendar. There's another button called publishing content. I'm going to actually click on that. So publishing content. Then I'm going to click on this tab up here that says queued. And what you'll see is it's listed all of the tweets all in a row. What I'm going to actually do here is you'll see there's three dots at the top. I'm going to click on that and it's going to give me the opportunity to shuffle the content. So now what's happened is it now has shuffled all of those up and they're now going to be delivered in random order. So it won't be three or four tweets coming out one after another from the same content. So that's it. It's that simple to generate a week's worth of content in just a few minutes using this really cool tool called Agora Pulse. So now when you go back and you look at my publishing calendar for July, you'll see I have really quickly, like within just a few minutes, I've been able to generate three tweets a day. Um, and now I can just uh, spend an hour or so generating content and then I can sit back and let it do its job for the rest of the week.